Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hey, look, man, you're now tuned in with the one and only King of Sense. If you're looking for that real and that 100% honest vacancy review, you have found the place to be. So hit that damn subscribe button and get down with a real one. Hey, look, on today's review, we're going to be talking about a Tom Ford fragrance. We're going to be talking about Tom Ford's Cherry Smoke. So stay right where you're at, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on this fragrance. Let's get into it. So on today's review, we are talking about Tom Ford's Cherry Smoke, a flanker to Lost Cherry, one of my all-time favorites. But I kind of outgrew Lost Cherry, and I felt that it was just a little too kiddish for me. So when this flanker came out, Cherry Smoke, I had to see what it was all about. So my initial impressions, when I first sprayed it, I got the sour cherry, I got the saffron that really reminded me of the OG. And I was kind of getting scared. I said, you know what? This is really close to Lost Cherry, something that I did not want anymore or just wasn't interested in. But give it a minute. When it starts to dry down and it starts to go into the changes, you will love this fragrance. You know, it kind of reminds me of sitting beside a campfire wearing a very nice leather jacket. Getting that campfire smoke mixed with that leather. This is what cherry smoke is, all summed up. So let's go over the main accords and notes of this fragrance. The main accords are cherry, woody, smoky, leather, sweet, fruity, nutty, almond, animalic, and floral. Now, I'm not going to go over all the notes. I'll put them up right here for you, but the main notes are the sour cherry and saffron in the opening. Then in the mids, maybe about 20, 30 minutes, it starts to change. You get that leather. And then on the dry down, you have the smoky and woody notes. Absolutely a masterpiece by Tom Ford. Who can wear this fragrance? This fragrance is a complete unisex fragrance fit for a male or female. Anybody can pull this one off. Now, let's talk about the longevity and ciliage. Now, on the OG, man, I was only getting maybe four to five hours, and a lot of the Tom Ford fragrances suck on longevity. But I don't know if they reformulated this stuff, but on this stuff, I'm getting seven to eight hours and a really nice scent bubble that pushes out two to four feet, and you will get compliments from this fragrance. Now, is it a beast mode fragrance that's gonna take over the room? No, it is not but people will smell you when they get into your personal space with cherry smoke. Now, what season should you wear this fragrance? Now, for me, I'm wearing this stuff right now. I'm wearing it in the fall and winter seasons. Could you pull it off in the springtime? Yes, you could. Could you pull it off in the summertime? You're kind of pushing it with that heavy leather and smoke note. But hey, look, give it a try. Hey, you may just be able to pull it off. But for me, I'm wearing it right now. This is the season to wear Tom Ford's Cherry Smoke. So real quick, let's go ahead and check out the bottle and display. Look at that, very nice, cool, sexy bottle. Check out the atomizer. And like I said, that sour cherry blast off the top. It is absolutely gorgeous, followed by the saffron. And when it starts to dry down, you're gonna get the leather, smoke, and woody notes coming from this fragrance. Now, my final thoughts on this fragrance, should you own this fragrance if you already have Lost Cherry? To me, I say yes, because when it starts to dry down, it has a more grown and sexy take on the OG. So yes, you should still have this one in your collection. 